Hi and welcome to another episode of Essential Lightroom. In this video I'm going to show you what's probably the easiest method of creating that orange and teal look using Photoshop. We're going to use two layers and that's all there is to it. So this is the effect we're going to end up with and this is the image that we started with. So you can see we've got a really cool orange and teal effect in there. So I'm going to take you through and show you how to do this quickly and easily. So the first thing we need to do is ensure that we've got the adjustment panel open in Photoshop. You can see that on the right hand side and if you don't have that all you need to do is come to the window menu and just choose adjustments and that'll open the panel up. With that selected we just need to come in and choose the channel mixer. That's going to create a new layer with a mask applied to it and open up this new channel mixer dialog box and as you can see it shows us the red, green and blue layers or colours inside our image. Currently we have the red set to plus 100 and both the green and the blue zeroed out. So all we need to do to get this effect is simply take the green slider and set that to 100 and then take the blue slider and set that to minus 100. And there's the basis of your orange and teal effect. Now if you find that that's just a little too much we can easily edit any colour inside this image very quickly. All we need to do is create another adjustment layer and we're going to come down and we're going to choose a hue and saturation adjustment. Again, you'll see that opens up a panel now that's dedicated to that specific adjustment. If we take a look at the layers at the bottom, you can see we now have the adjustment layer and the hue and saturation mask that allows us to mask off portions of the image should we need to. Now what we need to do is come up and choose this icon that allows us to directly select and change colors inside our image. So with that selected, we can find any part of the image that we think is either too saturated or not enough saturation and simply click and hold the mouse button down and we'll see if we drag it to the right hand side, we increase the intensity of the saturation. If we take it to the left hand side, we decrease the amount of saturation for that specific color. Now when we're working with this particular option, we've got a couple of modifier keys that allow us to do some other things. If we hold the control or the command key down while clicking and dragging, you see instead of adjusting the saturation, that now affects the hue. So if we look on the right hand side, you can see now as I move the slider left and right, or as I move my mouth le mouse left and right, you can see we now get an increase or decrease in the hue. So that allows us to just quickly and easily change the colors. So let's just undo that. Now if you find that when you're trying to make adjustments, they're going a little bit too quick, you can simply hold the Alt key down, and that will allow us to move the mouse in much larger increments, but the actual saturation slider is moving quite slowly. So this allows us to fine tune and tweak those colors a lot easier. Alternatively, if we find they're not moving quick enough, we can simply hold the shift key down and we'll find out each small movement will have a massive effect on the color information. So you can see you very quickly start to increase or decrease the amount of saturation for that given area. And that's all there is to it. Simple as that. Now if you find that you want to adjust the amount of this effect throughout the entire image, then the easiest way of doing that is to come over and hold the shift key down and click on both these layers. That now selects the two of those and we can press Ctrl or Command and G and that'll create a group. So all of those adjustment layers now are inside their own group. Let's just rephrase that and we'll call that orange and teal. And now what we can do is we can easily come to that and we can adjust the opacity on that and that will adjust the amount of effect. So you can see as we take that over, that now merges those adjustment layers inside that group with the original image. So we can combine the two different color scales and we can get exactly the kind of effect that we want. And there we go, that's all there is to this effect. I hope you found this useful. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button to be kept up to date with all the new content that's added every week. Any comments, questions or feedback on this video, please pop those in the comments section below. And if there's any kind of technique that you'd like to see covered either in Photoshop or in Lightroom, please again pop those in the comments section below and we can take a look at creating tutorials that cover those specific topics. Well, until next time, take care.